So uh, today I received a brand new set of Antlia 3 nanometer SHO filters, 1.25 inch mounted Antlia, 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 yeah, sure. Um, ordered them from 365 Astronomy in the UK. I think they're the only UK dealer at the moment that's got them. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain why I'm so excited about these filters, uh, and I'm also going to unbox them, show you what the packaging's like, and I'm going to show you um, fitting them into my filter wheel as well. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get started. All right. So for those who don't already know, in astro photography. People tend to use filters in front of their camera sensors. These filters, they'll block out um, certain frequencies of light. Um, so things like light pollution from street lights, from, from the moon, those sorts of things will get filtered out using these specific filters. Now you can get broadband filters. So things like your red, green, and blue, or your luminance filter. Um, and what they'll do is they'll capture a, a broad area of the wavelengths that are coming through um, but you can also get your narrowband filters and they'll pick out specific emission zones of the nebulae that you're looking at or whatever it is that you're looking at it will it will pick out those specific frequencies with my narrowband filters here um, it will only do one of these at a time so the idea is you do three filters three images you combine those three images into your red, green, and blue channels in your image. And then you can kind of combine them and you get images that look a bit like these crazy uh, colorful images. narrowband filter that I ever purchased uh, was actually a, a DSLR clip-in hydrogen alpha filter. Um, so if you imagine you've got your DSLR right, so it's just an example. I had, back in the day it was a Canon, uh, I've got a Sony now, but if you imagine the, um, the sensor is right there, you can see it's like the purple area. Um, the filter would actually clip in to the body of the camera inside here and then your lens would literally just kind of go on on top of it um, and that would filter out as we spoke about just a, a little bit before, everything uh, apart from the hydrogen alpha wavelength. It was a little bit cheaper than, than what you consider for your mono cameras, purely because it was uh, a 12 nanometer, 12 nanometer filter. So if you imagine, go back to this graph here, um, each of the bandwidths here, they denote three nanometers um, up at the top. Now the 12 nanometer obviously is gonna be thicker um, and there's less tolerance on those ones, so they're, they're just basically a bit cheaper. It was um, certainly more affordable, but it was a, a great way of introducing uh, myself into the world of narrowband imaging. So uh, I then moved up in the world uh, of astronomy, I guess, and I invested in a dedicated astronomy camera. So this is my camera now. Um, I also got with it a, a filter wheel. Um, so if you imagine the, the camera sensor is there, filter wheel, which contains multiple filters inside of it, just kind of screws onto the sensor like that. And then your filters are then in front of the camera sensor. Uh, with that camera, I actually got a set of seven nanometer filters from ZWO. So we've moved down from 12 nanometers now to seven nanometers. And the increase in the contrast and the details and also the, the amount of light pollution that they blocked out was actually 
noticeably and considerably better. So I've managed to really get some, some nice results from these filters over the past sort of year or so that I've been using them. So now I've, I've gone and got myself a set of these three nanometer filters from Antlia. So I moved from 12 nanometers to seven, and now I'm on the three nanometers. If you're looking at purchasing these, um, it's certainly a huge commitment. I'm gonna stick in a couple of links in the description for some more in-depth reviews uh, for you to have a look at. It, they probably explain it a lot better than I can. And, and in fact, they've got pictures which compare uh, seven nanometers to three nanometers and three and a half nanometers to three nanometers and that sort of stuff so uh, in particular there's one from Ethan who's a, a friend of mine on Instagram he gives a very very good example of star blighting and, and halos um, between the three nanometers and the 3.5 nanometers and yeah that, that comparison is probably the most important when you're considering the filters at the top end of the price point which um, O3 in particular is really, really important. So I've gone for these Antlia filters, not just because of the price of them, um, but because of those specifications as well. So for example, the S2 and the Hydrogen Alpha um, is above 95, uh, sorry, no, 90% transmission and 85% for the Oxygen 3. Um, they're also rated at OD5, which means that the off-band transmission, which is the the amount of light that we don't want through, so these areas here, the off-band transmission is at 0.001%. Um, so it's letting that much light through, which is a massive improvement actually over their previous 3.5 nanometer filters. They were at 0.1%. So it's, that's really important when you're considering the contrast and, and detail that's going to come through in your image. So, I mean, you can see them here in their packaging. Um, I think I've probably gone on about them for long enough now. I think we're going to open them up uh, and fit them into my filter oil. My S2, HO and O3. So let's go, I'm just going to open up one I think, just for now, so let's show you the S2. this up now and take all of the ZWO SHO filters out, put them away in their packaging and then um, I'll get the new filters in there.
uh, get excited about these new filters. Um, hopefully it wasn't boring for you. Hopefully you did actually learn something, um, even if you were just interested in what they actually look like, um, then hopefully that's helped you out a little bit. Um, I've just now got to wait for these clouds to disperse before I can actually use them. Hopefully I'll get a, an image with them pretty soon. Uh, keep checking my Instagram account because um, it's literally going to be the next image that I post hopefully is going to be with these filters. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.